It's Pioneer Football Report. I'm Bill Schmidt, the voice of the Carroll Pioneers here with Coach Mark Kraskowski. Coach, how are we doing today? Doing well, Bill. Thanks Great to be out, out here. Uh, inside the new Players Lounge here in the uh, Pioneer Locker Room. Awesome setup you guys have here. Uh, and it's been, a, it's been a down week here, bye week for the Pioneers. After week one, the game in Lakeland, it was a, it was a hard-fought loss, but a good battle to the end through the kids for all 60 minutes. It was. We're really proud of them. Uh, they came out uh, really in the second half and, and showed exactly what type of team we can be. Uh, the biggest thing that we have to do from that game is take some things that we can learn from. And I think we did. Uh, our guys know what we need to do to continue to progress to get better, and the coaches do, so that's what we're looking forward to. And as you get ready for CCIW play, now you guys do have the week two bye. A little bit of an extension of camp and a way for you guys to kind of ease pe the students in as now uh, class is starting up just yesterday. Yeah. It'll be nice for the kids to have uh, this bye week of game day off, a couple of days off as they can ease into their classes and get themselves going into college life. Right. You know, when the, when the schedule first comes out, you kind of cringe a little bit when it's a week two <laughs> by week. And then, but really, the way that it works out is, is pretty good. Uh, class is just starting. By week gives us that opportunity to really get sunk into the academics. Mm -hmm. uh, we still had practices. We did a couple light practices throughout the week, making sure that we're ready to continue on with the season. But in all, I think having a bye week in week two really helps us out with then progressing for the rest of the season. And the kids getting back on campus, it's got to be nice for, for the, the freshmen being able to have a, a grasp of the, the campus being here for a couple of weeks during camp, but then also getting themselves going academically with their, with their brothers around them who've been here for a little while. Yeah, without a doubt, Bill. Um, part of college life is the atmosphere. For sure, sure it is. We always say the academics are going to be tremendously important. What you're learning in class is going to be of the utmost importance. But certainly that atmosphere around campus, when it's a vibrant, active campus, it's exciting. That's what college is supposed to be about. And uh, home opener just next week, you guys, right? Schneider Stadium's going to be rocking. We're excited. It's going to be a night game under the lights, uh, having a CCIW opponent coming in. Uh, guys are going to be ready without a doubt. Awesome, Coach. Coming back on the Pioneer Football Report, talk with Offensive Coordinator Tony Aker and figure out exactly where you can get in contact with him if he's your local area recruiting coach. with you on the Carroll Pioneer Football Report with Offensive Coordinator and Recruiting Coordinator, Coach Aker. Good How are we doing? You. Good to oh, see you again. Wonderful. It was a heck, of a heck of a week for the offense, being able to put some points on the board, but being a member of the Carroll Pioneer Football family, I know you uh, have D3 football very deeply rooted in your heart. There's a lot of kids in the Milwaukee area that are thinking about trying to find their way uh, to the next level of football, and you're the guy in the Milwaukee area to get in contact with. Exactly right. I have the honor and privilege to recruit our backyard, and so the 414-262 area, uh, that's mine and that's ours. <laughs> right. I'm a 414 guy, yep. a 2005 graduate of uh, Brown Deer High School. Uh, coach K, our head coach, all right, being a graduate of New Berlin West, and I can spit mm -hmm. out the year there, but we take great <laughs> pride all right, in recruiting our backyard in the 414 and 262 and so I'm excited to be here excited to recruit that area and excited to provide opportunities for all of our talented young men and women all right being football managers and other parts of our football family as well coming in enjoying the family and being a part of some great things going on here at Carroll U. And there's a lot of different kids that are in this community there's a lot of great football going on in the Milwaukee area and the surrounding areas uh, what exactly would you say to somebody thinking about you know a junior a senior in high school that's wondering is D3 football right for me? You know, um, I, I had the opportunity to play scholarship level football as well as Division Three, and so I'm one of those guys that can truly say I chose Division Three. Mm -hmm. And um, there's stigma that goes in, and a lot of people go, uh, influence decisions and thing like things like that. But being a part of the CCIW. Um, being able to stay at a university close to home, uh, it all rolls into one great package. Division Three football is phenomenal. And when you think about the competition in our conference, being able to compete and play at that national championship level, uh, you're going to get all the competition and all the mm -hmm. expertise and 
all the coaching that you're looking for uh, playing Division Three football right here at home. And you've had the opportunity to, like you said, be a lot of different places. Uh, what academically, maybe atmosphere-wise, makes Carroll different from the places that you've been, maybe makes it a little bit more special? Without a doubt. Um, the first thing that I noticed uh, last spring, uh, or a spring and a half ago now, uh, when I joined the football family here at Carroll, was uh, everybody on this campus and the tools and resources on this campus that are designed specifically to the students' individual success. Uh, professors truly know everybody's name mm -hmm. all right, when you're in the class with them. It's not because you play a sport. It's not because you're in a certain clubs because they genuinely care about the students and the student success here on this campus. Free tutoring to our students, free supplemental instructions, um, group tutoring opportunities and uh, all those tools and resources as well as the professors uh, in their houses as well as in the offices being able to provide one-on-one uh, -on -one individual uh, treatment and attention to the students. It's really going to set you up uh, to achieve overwhelming academic success here and that's something that we talk about not just with our student athletes but um, the student population in whole. When you come to Carroll University so you're coming for that rigorous uh, learning environment so that you can be fully prepared yes. all right, when you walk across uh, you know, the courtyard all right, on graduation. And our students leave here prepared for those next phases in life, whether it's going on to grad school or going out into the professional world and working. Now, on the field-wise, you guys got to put some points on the board uh, under the lights on somebody else's field. It's going to be pretty cool uh, coming up next Saturday to be able to put some points on the board on Schneider Stadium on your own home field. Yeah, exactly right, man. I'm, uh, winning is fun. Winning is more fun at home, and we definitely plan on doing that. Last week was a great experience. We got some things to learn from. Mm -hmm. All right, four turnovers. We got to take care of the football offensively, and I truly believe that uh, we put a great focus in it. Our guys truly understand what we're trying to accomplish, and we're going to put it all together next week. Really excited about it. Awesome, Coach. Thanks for the time. Thanks, thanks a lot. Coming right back, Bill Schmidt with you on the Pioneer Football Report. <laughs> Bill Schmidt with you on the Pioneer Football Report as we get set for Carroll taking on Augustana and the start of CCIW play for the Pioneers. September 16th, it's a 6 o'clock game, 5.30 pregame starts on GoPios.com. Find the schedule right here on GoPios.com. All you got to do is click video right there and you're going to get our live stream of the game. For now, it's Bill Schmidt here on the Carroll University Pioneer Football Report. Talk to you again next week and talk to you Saturday as Pioneers take on the Vikings. <laughs>